Porcupine. Porcupines are found in many parts of the world. Hey, I've never met a porcupine before. Porcupines are rodents, like rats or mice. They're so cute! They're great at climbing trees. So are hippos. Not the... Ugh. Never mind. And porcupines are herbivores. They eat fruit, twigs, and bark. Hippos are herbivores, too. Come on, porcupine. Give us a big herbivore hug. Oh, watch out, Gorby. Porcupines are covered in thousands of sharp quills. Whoa, will he shoot them at me? No, lots of people think that. But porcupines can't shoot their quills. That's a relief. They just stick their quills out so they attach to any predators that come too close. Ouch! Sorry, porcupine. Maybe it's best we don't hug after all. <laughs> Never mind, Gorby. I think he got the points. Actually, I think he's got thousands of points. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's write porcupine. Incredible! You're one cool climber. See you back next week for our final few fun activities. The bush. Hop. Cane toads live in North and South America and Northeastern Australia. Oh, we're going to learn about toads! Do you know the story of the farmer and the cane toad, Lily? No. Once, in a place called Australia, there lived a farmer who grew sugar cane. Oh, sugar comes from sugar cane. But the cane beetle kept eating his sugar cane and ruining his crops. The farmer had heard of a toad with poisonous skin that lived in North and South America. <gasps> the cane toad! It loved eating cane beetles. So the farmer brought lots of cane toads to Australia. End of problem. In their original home, the cane toad had lots of predators. But in Australia, it had none. So the cane toad population grew? And grew until there were over 200 million of them. Even worse, the cane toad ate lots of other insects that were helpful to the farmer and his crops. Wow, what a story. And it's true, Lily. I guess the lesson is, don't mess with nature, or you'll end up with millions of cane toads. <laughs> Find the matching numbers. Laughing Kookaburra. Laughing kookaburras are found in the forests of Australia. Hey, I've got a joke. What did the hippo call his father? Hippo father must. Hippo father must. Someone found my joke funny. 
But who? A laughing kookaburra. <laughs> It's very noisy. Kookaburras laugh in order to tell other birds to stay away, attract a mate, or signal when it wants to eat. Hmm. That one can't be hungry. It's got a mouse. Laughing kookaburras use their pointy beaks to snatch prey, such as small mammals, insects, reptiles, even snakes. That snake is huge. What's the kookaburra gonna do? Feed its young. So the laughing kookaburra uses its beak to catch prey, including snakes that are bigger than them. Oh, and they cackle a lot. Because of their noise, they're nicknamed the Bushman's alarm clock. Maybe they'll laugh at another joke. Why is the kookaburra always laughing? Because the ducks keep quacking jokes. Hmm. Don't stop laughing. That was funny. Now let's test your memory. Find the items that begin with. Tuatara. Tuataras can be found in New Zealand. What do you think this creature is, Marco? Hmm, a crocodile? No. An alligator? No. Ooh, is it a lizard? It looks like a lizard, but it's actually a tuatara. Hi, tuatara. Hmm, you sure look like a lizard. Unlike tuataras, lizards have ears outside their heads. Like me. Tuataras don't have ear openings. And also unlike lizards, they're nocturnal. So they hunt for food at night. They eat insects, frogs, small mammals, and even <gasps> lizards. There's another fascinating thing about the tuatara. Most animals have two eyes. Yes. The tuatara has three. Wait, I only saw two eyes. You can hardly see it, but the third eye sits on the top of its head. Whoa! Oh, I'd like to have another eye in the back of my head, so I can sense when Nash creeps up on me. Let's spell tongue. T A U E E N G O O O Tongue